Hi everyone. Uh, today I will be giving the demo of rest controllers with Spring Boot. Uh, so we'll be starting with a simple example. We're using Spring Spring ID. So creating a project as uh, Spring Boot rest. So we'll be adding the elements of that. So this is for uh, creating MVC layer, or clearly we can say for creating REST controllers. Uh, and we'll be adding data JPG to store data. So so we will be using HyperSQL database for uh, storing the data. So HyperSQL is a memory data bus, so it can be stored either as a file or it can be stored in a memory. So the one which is stored in the file is a persistent one. So even if you restart the Spring Boot application, still it will be persistent. Uh, but in case of uh, in memory, uh, it will not be persisted. And if you start the server, uh, restart the server, the entire data will be lost and it will start from first. So, creating a model first, just for a demo purpose. Uh, so, my interface is class. Employee. So adding at the rate of entity gives it as a persistent persistent uh, uh, entity. I mean persistent as it can be created as a table. So employee will be created as a class table in uh, uh, hyperscale database. So at the rate, I indicate that is a primary key to the table, and at the rate, generate uh, generate value is used for used to indicate how to generate a primary key. An example here strategy. So here strategy there are four types: auto, identity, sequence, table. Sequence is for Oracle. Auto auto is uh, normally used for MySQL or PostgreSQL where there is auto increment operation, but uh, Oracle doesn't support that. So in our case, we will be going with the uh, uh, none of this. So we want to manually assign the we want to manually assign the employee ID. So we would like to go with the manual assignment. So I will be generating a default constructor. Um, so constructor and uh, and a parameter is constructor and get us at this just to view the data now we will create a JPA uh, interface so, uh, so we will be 
के तीन या चार दिन में दिए होंगे कैटेगरीज कौन सा इंप्लाइड सो इंप्लाइड पॉजिटिवली हैज टू एक्सटेंड जेपीएल पॉजिटिवली सो इट टेक्स द एंटिटी क्लास एंड द प्राइमरी की टाइप सो इज इट अ जेनरिक इंटरफेस now we will create a simple controller okay yes finish yes. adding at the rest test controller makes this controller as a rest api so if you go if you go inside rest controller right so there are two annotations one is at the right cast rest controller sorry at the right controller and at the right response body so when we use a rest the controller with the response body then it is treated as a api and if you don't use at the right response body then it is treated as a normal mvc controller so to overcome that spring has created a comma combined annotation which is rest controller so we don't need to use both the, in our application so we can use a single uh, single annotation which is rest controller public uh, employee uh, so. So at the rate out of it, uh, annotation used to bind a spring bean inside another class. Right on, employee repository dot find all. So find all is nothing but select start from employee table. So at the rate get mapping. So get mapping and I will just passing it to get all. Your find all. so we'll be creating a command line controller uh, which will just initialize that data in our application uh, command line runner so we'll be injecting employee repository employee repository and uh, so command line interface is a functional uh, runner is a functional interface so uh, we will be writing the definition in the similar way so what it done so it takes arguments uh, then so now I'm creating some dummy employees I'm fine, bright, equal to new. Okay. I'm five, so from ID. Test one, some Saturday. So I'm play one, I'm play two. First one, two.
So at the end, Bean is added to uh, create a custom builds with custom configuration. So now we are enabling, enabling the transaction management for persisting the data. So running the application. So if I go and localhost it id find all so you can see the data which was persisted earlier so to save time i have created a simi application uh, so with all the uh, crud operations so there is an api called add uh, so it takes a employee employee and a binding result so this is to enable validation so whatever validations which we have uh, written on top of employee class will be returned to the uh, api caller as a front end and the, any any consumer so if any of the fields are null so the errors will be returned to the uh, front end or con any consumer